Hey guys, uh, it's a beautiful day here in Oregon. I'm going to make a duck blind to carry in for tomorrow. And I got this idea from my brother a couple trips ago and it was just so much better than building a blind when we got there. And he put it on this little plastic sled, little for duck hunting. You guys have probably seen what I'm talking about, but um, I wanted to make something I could pack in or put on a sled and it'll fit two guys up to, or one guy up to as many guys as you really want. So um, I went down to Home Depot, dropped 50 bucks in supplies, and I can make a pretty huge blind. I'm gonna stick to about a two man blind because that's normally what I'm hunting with. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So let's do it, let's make this thing. I'm not an expert, but hopefully this will inspire or motivate someone to do the same thing. And uh, let's get started guys, let's do it. Went down to Home Depot, picked up these stakes in the garden section. Um, they are five foot stakes, so I'm gonna make a little bit more of a lower profile blind. I might have a foot in the mud, but I'll leave a link in the description for all these supplies so you guys can find them yourself. And here's what I've got. So I've got eight stakes for this size of blind, a can of brown spray paint. I've got two bags of zip ties, some side cutters, and two of these bags. These are going to be eight feet long. So they're just reeds. It says they're weatherproof. So they are super light. They shouldn't take on water, which will be really nice. But I will find out more about that tomorrow when I use this. At the end of this video, we're gonna see how this baby works. So let's get started. I'm gonna wing it and we're gonna go for it. Hope it works. So these are Hampton Bay. As you can see, outdoor reed fencing and eight foot long, four foot high. A little bit shorter than my poles, but I want that. All right, since I only have one can of spray paint, each end of these, uh, hopefully you can see that, it's rounded off already, so I don't need to do that, which is super nice with these outdoor stakes. What I'm gonna do with this brown spray paint, it's dark brown uh, satin, so not gonna be shiny. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the tops of these first and let them dry real quick before I start putting this blind together. I do not want, I do not want these to stand out in the sun. All right, so I'm just gonna flip them. All right, so here's the backside. So all I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the end pulls in about three inches off the top. So the top post is gonna be about three inches above the blind so I can hang stuff from it and pound it in. Same thing on the other side. And you can see I got at least six to eight inches off the bottom to put into the ground. And I'm gonna get these bottom reeds, that's the bottom. I'm gonna get those all the way into the mud. So I laid it out just so I could get the other two. So there's gonna be four poles total. And uh, I wanted to get the spacing right. I don't wanna have a complete triangle. It's very important to lay it flat on the ground. Otherwise these, these panels aren't gonna be straight all the way across. So that would be my recommendation if anybody tries this. Now I'm gonna get to painting them. That's gonna be a pretty crucial part I think in this step. I'm gonna brush them in also with some real grass. So don't think that this is it. I don't think by that self it would work very well. So let's check it out and brush it in and paint it up. All right, there's the panels. Put some grass on there just to start. And then there's the other one. So, I mean, it'll blend in depending on what I'm in. It's pretty see-through though. Took me about an hour to grass these two up. All right, here's the blind I made yesterday. Not too heavy. Not bad for a portable portable blind I'm gonna take with me and use again. So, not bad. About $45 at Home Depot to make it. Better than a couple hundred dollars. I can turn the stakes in however I want and roll it up to make it shorter too, which is pretty sweet. All right, here we are the day after the hunt. Just wanted to do a recap. This is both panels strapped together. I put them in my decoy bag. It worked out really well. They're about 15 pounds with both of them, so it's really not that bad. And I just wanted to make note that 
it was raining all day yesterday and these did not get any water weight. So I was super pleased with these. There's a lot of different materials out there you can use for blinds, but this actually worked really well. You can see I went through with the brown spray paint and just did kind of sporadic patterns on these to darken them up. Any pattern would work, it doesn't really matter. Adding that real grass was a lifesaver to that. So give it a try guys, it worked out great and the ducks didn't flare off of it, so that's always a plus. Good luck out there guys. Shoot straight.